the one thing you can live without? A barbell. <laughs> I don't know what I do without a barbell. Okay, my name is Richard. Um, people like to call me Richie. Uh, I'm from the UK. I've been involved in fitness for pretty much my whole life. So I started off doing football as a little kid. And then I started to do athletics. And I was more of a sprinter, so I did like 100 meters and 200 meters. From there, I joined the army. I was in the British army for nine years. And that's when I got introduced to a few more sports, stuff like cricket, Basketball, cross country, well, powerlifting. So all through the army, I got introduced to those different sports, and then I got introduced to CrossFit towards the towards the end of my army career. And from there, I've started to do do more stuff like gymnastics, calisthenics, Olympic weightlifting. What's your biggest passion? Dessert wise or fitness wise? So, uh, <laughs> Desserts. Anything, waffles and ice cream or crepes and ice cream. I love them. You take me to, show me a dessert place that does that stuff and I'm there. And besides that, fitness wise, um, coaching people fitness, through fitness. Not, for, not so much the physical side of it, but more the mental, mental side of it. How it builds you confidently, how it builds you from the inside outwards rather than outside inwards, if that makes sense. Uh, what's your uh, motivation? So my motivation is when I see people with less still carry out activities and also when I see little kids playing around, doing cartwheels, rolling around on the floor, it, it, I just want to be, I want to, I see the people that are doing less, so say if someone is paralyzed, disabled, but still do activities, I still, I want to be able to do stuff that they can't do because they haven't got the opportunity. Then when I see kids running around in the playground, I think that's what keeps me, that's what's going to keep me young, so I want to do that stuff. So, a, a bit of both. What kind of goals do you have, uh, do you have planned this year? So this year, goals wise, it's just, every year it's just to improve myself. Every year, I try and get better every year. What's your uh, biggest day to day challenge? Organising myself. I can organise other people's lives good, like clients wise, I can help organise them, but when it comes to organising myself, nightmare when it comes to eating like I just brought a sandwich five minutes ago because I haven't eaten all day organizing myself is probably my biggest day-to-day -day challenge I just take my time what's something you think every person should experience in their lifetime being outside their comfort zone you can't grow if you don't do something that's not new you just go into I like, don't just get stuck into the same loop try something new and you might take it you might You'll either enjoy it or it's just an, it won't knock you. It won't. It might knock your confidence temporary, but it means you know that's not for you. So just try something new, just to help yourself grow as a person. If you could spend one day in someone else's shoes, who would it be and why? Someone else's shoes. For this one, I'll just use an example of an athlete. So I'll use a cross because I'm. CrossFit's my current sport that I'm doing now. So I use Matt Fraser. He's like the number one CrossFit athlete, males. And he's he's came from not being good elite, like never being first place to to getting first place like three times on the row. So and so he's grown throughout. So I like to be in his shoes just to see what it was like at the start when he wasn't number one to how he like how he's worked his ass off to get to where he is now. Just to see what it's like how it feels. Any advice to the people that want to try CrossFit? Um, advice to people that want to try CrossFit. Don't be... Don't walk, if you go in, if you enter a CrossFit gym, don't look at what someone else is doing. Because that will put you, like you might go in there and you'll see someone lift lift 200 pounds from the ground and put it above the head and you think that's what they expect you to do but that's not how it is you just do what your body is capable of doing you don't have to worry about what anyone else is doing so 
just go in there and just experience it. Don't, don't compare what you're doing to what someone else is doing, doing because they could be doing it for five or six years and it's your first day and you're thinking, I can't do that on your first day. Just go in there and just do what you can do and, and don't listen to what everyone else says about CrossFit as well. Yeah, just experience it for yourself. How's the transition from, uh, for you like, from UK to Qatar? So the transition, it, was, it wasn't, because I was in the military for nine years, so living away from home wasn't different to me, but different country. It was coming to Qatar, it was, because it, it's, I find it quiet and peaceful, so you can just focus on what you need to do rather than getting, in the UK there's loads of distractions, there's parties going on all the time, family members, everything's all over in the UK. But over here, because I'm out, out of the way, it's like a... And the weather's good here. So the weather, and plus that there's limited things that you can do, I find it like, it's like a focus, like a focus, like a focus country. Country, you can come and focus on what you want to do, go as a person. If you want to find out more information about what I do, you can follow on in Instagram. The link will be put somewhere here. And if you've got any questions any, on anything, just give, well, probably not nutrition, but strength and training wise, throw, me, throw a question at me. I'm open, open book.